Hi, I'm Damon Knight, Head of Air Traffic Services for Stobart Aviation. Stobart Aviation are doing a variety of things to uh, reopen the airport uh, later this year. Uh, key focus has been uh, reopening the air traffic service, which we closed down uh, towards the back end of last year to refocus on uh, training. This simulator is a real innovative approach to air traffic control training. As you can see, you can uh, represent the view out of the window that a controller experiences in the tower. We can put uh, various uh, different scenarios together, level, levels of traffic, different weather types, and that means we can expedite the training uh, to get the controllers uh, alive as quickly as possible. But also we can record uh, what we're doing, so the CAA can validate and verify the training that the guys have got, and we can get to live operations as soon as possible. I'm Joe Harvey, I work for ANSL, I am seconded to Carlisle for Carlisle Project Design. Foundation is going really well. Uh, the sim really helps the process and it expedites things and we can tailor it to our traffic levels. To Charlie, to Charlie. Hi, my name's Andrew Moss, I'm a traffic controller of Carlisle Airport. Our training's going very well now that we've got use of this uh, great facility, the simulator at uh, Edinburgh, and it's allowing us to develop our core skills in a safe environment, challenge ourselves uh, before going live. Hi, I'm Ben Rogers, a student air traffic controller at Carlisle Airport. In terms of training, you know, you can't practice emergencies in, in, a, in a real environment, so you can pretty much simulate any sort of thing you want, so that we're going to be prepared for essentially anything we get when we do actually go back up to Carlisle. Starting this plan in last September and kind of seeing right, what we need to do, where we're going to be, it's really exciting to see that it is working. I'm Sandy Leggett, the General Manager of Traffic Services for Air Navigation Solutions at Edinburgh. ANS have purchased this simulator from UFA. It's, it's a state-of-the-art piece of kit. It allows us to recreate any scenario that a controller can reasonably be expected to experience during their job on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's a representative picture of the Carlisle airfield. It's, it's as real as you'll get without actually being at the airfield itself. We can change the weather, we can change the traffic, we can introduce emergency situations. We can recreate all that at the press of the button in the simulator. It just means that we shorten the time frame taken for the training. That means ANS working with Stobart Aviation can get Carlisle Airport open as, as quickly as possible.